Welcome to Hector Peterson Memorial Site. My name is Puluko. I'm working as a site guide. We have met before. When he arrives with visitors, I take a few minutes to explain to visitors why the wall, why the trees, why the line of grass, especially when we get to the memorial stone to explain about what happened to people on the photograph. You might know the movie called Sarafina, yes, staring American Serena. movie star Hoopy Goldberg. Mm -hmm. The movie is based on the true story about what happened in Soweto in 1976. Ladies and gentlemen, the little ones, please come. Let's start from the line of grass. This is called the line of fire. The line of fire connects with the entrance of the museum. The line of fire, it is in straight line with the red sidewalk symbolizing blood and the trees to the corner where 15,000 school children were confronted by the police, where the 12-year-old boy, Hector Peterson, was shot. Police, they didn't like to see black cards written to hell with Africans. This is their language. When school children took to the street, their main concern about Africans was here in South Africa, at universities, the medium of instructions was English. They started calling Africans the language of the oppressor, saying this is the youngest language in the world. It became official language in 1925. Mm. Police gave them three minutes to go back to school. Police started throwing tear gas canisters. The wind was blowing to police direction, tear gas affecting police. Police led the dogs to attack them. And one dog disappeared in the crowd. It was thrown in front of the police, it was injured. They started singing an illegal song, a song which was not allowed to be sang in South Africa. Nkosi Singeleli Africa, Malupagami Sum Kunduloyo, Izo Emita. Have we heard the song before? Yeah. 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 We sing the song now as our national anthem. God bless Africa, God please hear our prayers. Police became angry, saying the life of a trained dog was more important than the life of a black child. Open fire. Hector was not the first to be shot. First victim, Hastings Ndlovu. He was 17 years. His photo was never taken. When the museum was opened 2002 by <coughs> Beli Musa, Hastings Ndlovu's father, he was approached to comment about his death. The message on the stone, it is from Mr. Elliot. Very encouraging message. So Wetu used to be known as Dangerous. But because of the history, because of the heritage, so Wetu has now become one of the safest and most visited tourism attraction. And tourism does contribute a lot to the development of the township. So we will read the message together, then I'll take you to the memorial stone to take a group photo. We are still facing a whole lot of challenges. A year after Mandela took over as the president, he decided to declare the 16th of June as a national holiday called the Youth Day. It is dedicated to those young people who took to the street in 1976 and to the young people of today. And the challenge facing young South Africans, we are having a very high rate of teenage pregnancy. Last year, it was 5,000 school children who got pregnant, 42 of them were from primary school. It is 7.5 million South Africans using ARVs, treatment to HIV and AIDS. There is high rate of illiteracy, high rate of unemployment, and there is a, a campaign by Josie FM, one of the local radio stations. Uh, they are contributing funding for children, girls. There are a whole lot of girls who are unable to go to school when they are on their periods. They say some of them, they use newspapers because they cannot able to afford uh, to buy sanitary towels. So some of the challenges facing the nation and we are hoping for much better future. Without wasting time, this is the wall of the void. Slate stones. The wall, it is representing school children, young and old, getting together and forming strong unity. Spaces you see between the wall, the missing information. We don't know what happened to the gentleman carrying Hector Peterson. Mboe Sama Kubo, he was 18 years. He became the most wanted boy in Soweto. He fled the country, he went to Botswana, he got scholarship to go and study in Nigeria. When he get to Nigeria, he disappeared. Until now, until today, South Africans and the world, we are still asking what happened to him. 
We say he disappeared in Nigeria because the last time he wrote the letter to his mother, the address was Nigeria. The mother she used to sell at the craft market, she passed away in 2005. Still hoping to see him telling people he might one day show up. When the museum was opened in 2002, she was approached to comment about his disappearance. A whole lot of people were regarding him as a hero and the mother she is against that. Saying in our culture as Africans, we believe in Ubuntu. Ubuntu. I like visitors to South Africa to live knowing this important word. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Ubuntu, it means we are who we are because of others. Ubuntu, it means togetherness, humanity. We are each other brother's keepers. And without wasting time, I would like you to read the message on the stone. The message it is from Boisa Makubo's mother. The lady on the photo, her name is Antoinette Sitole. Antoinette Sitole, she's Hector Peterson's sister. She was 16 years when the photo was taken. And she is using the same name Sitole. She got married to the Sitoles. She never had time to ask the gentleman, you are carrying my brother, he's bleeding, how is he? It was Not until when they get to Pefeni Clinic, 200 meters up the road. This is the message from the mother. Mbuisa is or was my son. Is or was my son? She was not sure if he was still alive or not. And by picking up her tag was not an act of heroism. It was his job as a brother. They were not bi biological brothers. Uh, we are each other brothers keepers. Ubuntu, ladies and gentlemen. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. And the lady on the photo, Antoinette Sitole, Hector Peterson's sister, she was 16 years, she's still alive. She was outside here a few hours ago. Antoinette, she used to work here at the museum. She took retirement last year on the 15th of December. And without wasting time, please come with me. As I did mention, everything outside here does not make the place to look beautiful. Everything has a symbolic value. This side, the water symbolizing the blood. The small stones, the only weapon they were using to defend themselves, throwing stones at police vehicles. The whole township of Soweto was on fire. They decided to attack all the government buildings, especially the beer halls or the bus, which were building each and every train station here in Soweto. Holy Sasha Mandela, 1992, two years after he was released, Mandela came to unveil the memorial stone. He suggested these trees should be planted. He planted the first tree, second tree, former U.S. President Bill Clinton, Archbishop Pico and others community members. Can you be able to identify the species of the trees, maybe? Or oh, these are olive trees. As you know, a branch of olive tree, it is a sign of peace and the mini waterfall symbolizing the tears of parents who did not get to see their children again. Do you know how many who lost their lives? It is written on the big rock, 600 were shot dead, thousands were wounded, thousands were detained, thousands were tortured, violence spread to other townships, 12,000 school children decided to flee the country to train as soldiers at ANC and PAC camps in a whole lot of other African countries. And, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Poluko. Two months after they took to the street Africans, it was stopped as the medium of instructions, and they continue studying Africans as the second language. And uh, my name is Poluko. Thank you very much for your interest, for visiting Soweto. And you enjoy your tour, your stay in South Africa, flying back home. You please visit us again in future. I just completed tourist training course and a whole lot of requirements to be with visitors. I'm still doing research about this history, but it is accurate information, what I just, what I just told you. And uh, if you do have questions, you are welcome to ask as many as you like, but I would like all of you to come in front of the photo. You take a group photograph. My son, I my son have a question about the... Um, okay. Son, ask a question. Yes? Yeah. Why do you think your is all good to you? He was... It, it was 12, it was three months before he celebrated his 13th birthday. Uh, it was during apartheid. The government, they were oppressing black people, saying black people, education system should be designed only for them because they were not capable. 
They were saying a young black child needed to be taught at any age that equality with white people was not for them. It was during apartheid and now after Mandela took over Mandela he became famous because he was fighting for this injustice. So today South Africans are living together and we are hoping for much better future that they will know and not be any racism again. Yeah. That answer your question, man? Yes. All right, excellent. Very good question. Anybody else have any questions? So you can invite everyone to this come. This is the original picture from the This, this is the, the original brain. picture. He was shot. Can you see in his mouth? The bullet went in his mouth. Oh. It came out, as yes, you can see, the hole on his head, forehead. And that's how, how he was shot. He was still alive. He was classified dead when they get to Pepele Clinic. Uh, it is 200 meters up the road. So ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite everyone to take a group photo in front of the memorial stone with the background of the picture. Our last is taking a photo. And outside here, I just completed tourist training course. I don't charge visitors for the tour. I do accept donation. Absolutely, man. We, do, we definitely got to. you. We got you. to visit us if people of the world feel comfortable to contribute to the development of Soweto. I appreciate you, my brother, and uh, we've definitely uh, got you. Uh, can you repeat your name uh, one more time? Oloko. Oloko is my name, and I was born here in Soweto. I'm one of those who survived tear gas. We don't have an exact number of how many newborn babies who lost their lives because of the, tear, the effect of tear gas and smoke. The whole township of Soweto was on fire. So back home, I was only three months when they took to the street. Wow. Uh, they are still uh, telling how they were making sure the doors, windows were properly closed. But when I was growing up at the age of six, it was in the 80s. On the 16th of June, people will take to the street, trying to remember what happened in 1976. People will be confronted by the police. So I also grew up throwing stones at police vehicles. But now I'm happy that I'm still alive and uh, surviving very well. Well, thank you, my brother. Appreciate it. Great, great presentation. You're welcome. What's your name? Antoinette Setole. Antoinette, she's Hector Peterson's sister. She was 16 years. She recognized Hector with his shoes. She never had time to say, this is my brother, the gentleman who was crying, running to Pepeni Clinic, 200 meters up the road. And he put him down. He said in Zulu language, Bopelele, meaning he is finished. And she says the only thing she doesn't forget about that fateful day is the way which was said by Mbuesa that his brother is finished. And as I did mention, she was outside here a few minutes ago. <laughs> Antoinette C. Okay, who is the girl? Antoinette C. That's Antoinette. Yeah, that's Antoinette. And the gentleman carrying hectares, Mbuesa Makubo. Mbuesa Makubo, disappear. he disappeared. Primary school across the street, it is named after him. And he was 18 years. We were reading the message on the stone from his mother. Yeah, his mm. mother left the message. I appreciate your family. Excellent. Mm.